What's going on guys, my name is Powerbang, welcome back to the PUBG Mobile official channel where we're going to be talking today about a loadout that you guys might want to pay attention to. Now this weapon comes from a supply drop only currently, and it is not probably the one that you're thinking of, and that is the AWM. It is not that one! AWM is great for single snipes, uh, popping somebody in the head, you know, kind of getting that distance shot. But what I'm talking about is the MK14, look at that, holy cow, the Mark 14 is an absolute monster at close to mid range and it can be great at long range as well. It's basically an extremely versatile rifle and I'm going to go over more of the details about the MK14 in this video, the setup that I recommend for it and kind of the attachments that I would be looking for if I'm going to be rocking this rifle. So first and foremost, the MK14 as we mentioned is a supply drop weapon and it uses 7.62 ammo and this kind of is the loadout right here where uh, most people use the MK14. It's kind of a single shot, um, extremely fast travel distance on the uh, the bullets. There's not very much bullet drop. It's very straight, very fast. And you're going to see a lot of people use this just like you see on the screen right now, sniping single shots at a time. But this is kind of how I would use the MK14, uh, just like so. Throw on a smaller scope, a red dot, or a two times scope, and use it in full auto mode as kind of a secondary weapon or even a primary. Uh, it is absolutely gnarly. Look at the amount of uh, you know shots it can put out. And remember, guys, these hit hard. The 7.62 ammo hits much harder than 5.56. The iron sights on this leave a lot to be desired, but you can get an idea of how hard this thing hits. Just a few shots here, and all of the tires on this buggy are completely wiped out and gone. The iron sights, not super great. That loop going over the top of the front sight on this uh, weapon makes it a little difficult to see, so I highly recommend using the red dot um, or the 2x on this weapon. So, to get a little bit of practice on the range here, we are going to take a look at some of these targets, and I'll demonstrate for you exactly how this thing handles with burst fire. Uh, you know, with full auto, it is it's pretty incredible, to be honest with you. So here you can see with uh, four or five shot bursts or so, um, maybe even up to seven, um, at distance right now with a red dot, and all of those shots are on target. Remember, it only takes three or four of these uh, to completely destroy an enemy. That's insane rate of fire, guys. And remember, this is a DMR. It's classified in the same category as the SLR, the Mini-14, as well as the SKS. And the MK-14 is the most damage of them all. This thing is an absolute monster. But you can see with the two times scope, it's actually even more accurate than the red dot on occasion, but you can see better with it. So I highly recommend the two times on the Mark-14. Now with the three times attached, you can tell it's all over the place and it's not what I would recommend. Even the four times here now fires more accurately in full auto or long burst than the three times does. So if you're going to be using a more magnified scope with this weapon, I recommend that you take the 4X with it rather than the 3X. And that's not often that you'll hear me say that, but in this particular scenario, the Mark 14 works great with the 4X as well. Now, look at the amount of shots we're able to put on. One thing I noticed with the 4X, it does lag a little bit when you use this um, and zoom in. So sometimes I recommend just going with those easier, lower end scopes like the 2X and the Red Dot. Look at the damage output now though on these vehicles. Just a clip and a half, so one magazine of 20 bullets and then uh, another nine or 10 bullets and these vehicles explode. So if you are being rushed by a car or one drives by, the Mark 14 is a great weapon to have at your side because you can completely destroy an enemy squad that happens to be driving by with very little effort and very little time. Check this out. We're going to see a guy land in front of our, uh, our screen here, jumping off the light pole, and then at range, check this out. You can kind of get an idea of how many shots you're able to put on them. Just right there, you were able to see six or seven shots land. Really, really good stuff. Now again, kind of looking at the range here right now, you can see with a six times scope on it, this thing has extremely uh, fast bullets, man. So at distance, you can see how quickly they get on target and very little bullet drop as well. 
This is something to keep in mind when you are using this weapon. Uh, but again, for longer snipes, uh, it's not my go-to. I'd prefer to use something like the AWM, the Car 98, the M24. Reason being, notice the one-shot kills, guys. Popping them in the head. This is kind of the way it's done. You see a car smash the wall here? We'll bust out the arm. Before they actually hop out, you can take them down. And uh, this is the weapon I would choose for something like that. Again, at range, one shots, one kills. Uh, go for this weapon out of the crate for your sniping. But as far as a handy, uh, you know, sidearm, the MK14 is a monster. And we're going to demonstrate uh, that in the final circle here. We're walking into a final circle gameplay, and we are playing solo. And we just knocked out one of the top players in the lobby uh, with the AWM. As we approach the Ludum, we get snaked here by a guy that's... Uh, in the grass and unfortunately he is not able to finish us we no scope him twice with the awm and he is down at this point so only six left alive five besides myself and we got to get that med kit off and its boost so we can get to the final circle and do some work there we get that boost off and we start pushing up the hill here's some gunshots so we want to go towards it to try to take them out it is kind of on the far side of the circle and we zoom in with the awm we can't really find them but this is where kind of our mentality shifts right we're in the center zone we are in the next final circle on the edge so we're going to switch to the mk14 because it's more of a reactive weapon we get shot at here hop behind the tree and we see him uh, uh pop his head up above the rock just in front of us and i'm just basically hiding here incoming grenade i can hear it land so i strafe behind the tree so it's on the other side if you guys do have a, na uh, a nade like really close like that uh, you can just hide behind the tree and it won't do any damage to you as long as the tree absorbs it. Now we see him pop out. Boom, there it is. Look at how quickly he is mowed down with the MK14. That thing is absolutely lethal at mid to short range. That was uh, really, really difficult for that guy as he thought he had me. Uh, but again, we alternate back to those longer range weapons, picking up those single headshots here with the AWM. Um, kind of a, a crazy loadout here with two crate weapons that we got in this game and we are rocking uh, the MK14 and the AWM, and it is uh, kind of fun to be that well-geared when you're running around in solos, for sure. It's uh, a force to be reckoned with, no doubt. So we smoke off our uh, entry to the far side of the circle. We know that there's somebody else up there. We heard them a little bit earlier. Uh, so we're rotating around. We want to go to the edge of the zone here. I'm looking in the uh, smoke, trying to see somebody behind these trees. And again, we head around to the outside, head to the edge of zone. There he is. He sees me. Doesn't matter. That thing is absolutely monstrous. Takes out to kill Kate. And uh, that was really uh, pretty easy, to be honest with you. Just mow him down, get that quick ADS with the MK14. And again, we see some folks across the way with the AWM. Um, but that pretty much wraps up this gameplay. We're looking for the final guy right now. He runs out into the field. And look at that. This thing is completely OP in that situation. A lot of people, though, overlook this weapon and do not use it in this capacity. So, guys, I want to make sure that's not you. Make sure you're rocking that MK14. 14. Try it out with the red dot. Try it out with the 2x. Put it on full auto. Make sure that you have a compensator attached. Make sure you have a cheek pad. And of course, focus on getting those extended mags. One tip for you as well with the MK14 is that the assault rifle extended mag uh, and extended quick draw also work for the DMRs, which happens to include the MK14. So make sure you guys are using extended mags on this weapon system because it is absolutely crazy strong. If you guys can pack 20 rounds into those bursts, it really doesn't take much. And if you can land that lucky headshot, whoever your target is, is going to go down super quickly. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. It is featuring one of the lesser used weapons in the game and one that oftentimes people People shy away from when they do find them in those supply crates. Make sure you're picking them up. Try them out with the short range scopes on them. Smack the like button, guys, if you enjoyed today's video. And make sure that you are subscribed to PUBG Mobile for more awesome action from myself and other creators. And if you're looking for daily content on PUBG Mobile, come over to Power Bang Gaming. Subscribe. The link for that is in the description below. That's all I got for now, guys. This is Power Bang signing out. Till next time. Take care.